that's not on my blackboard list uh, send me an, a regular email letting me know that okay okay because what you've just done is that you've constructed <laughs> Two years ago, when this pandemic began, I was complaining about everything, such as my travel plans being ruined, not being able to go to class in person anymore, and being stuck at home indefinitely. I was really mentally affected. However, for me, a little bit too much. It got to the part where I even asked myself, is it even worth living anymore? A good friend from church reached out to me and asked me, what are the 10 things that you are still thankful for? However, I did not want to name them because I was more focused on what I didn't have anymore. Well, looking back two years ago, during the stay-at-home order, yeah, it really sucked. I didn't want to be stuck at home all day for who knows when. But at least we were still able to do things such as watch movies, shows, and communicate with other people thanks to the internet. I was still able to continue my education in the virtual world even though I hated it a lot. But most importantly, my family and I were safe and healthy while we were stuck at home. But I was still complaining about how COVID um, made me having to stay home for a period of time. I remember I kept saying, COVID is killing me without even infecting me. However, during the beginning of this year, 2022, I realized that what I was complaining about two years ago, being stuck at home, it cannot be compared to what I'm going through right now. My dad and I tested positive for COVID-19 in late January. Although I have fully recovered, I don't feel 100% normal. I am not as a, as energetic as I was before I got COVID and I find myself to be more sensitive than before. I'm just praying that this is not going to be long term. However, my dad is in a much worse situation. This is my dad as of today, February 13th. 2022. In addition, I have a family member who is an anti-vaxxer, tested positive, and is currently in a vegetative state. And last year, a close friend passed away from COVID at the age of 24. Now that I have became a victim of COVID and seeing People that I love, suffering. <laughs> I've realized that I have now felt the full weight of COVID. <laughs> this past two and a half weeks have been really hard for me and my family. Right now, my biggest fear is losing another family member.